Breakfast. So you're you're interesting because you're one of these jack of all trades. You do music. You're an actor. You produce. You never had any goals in life. I I've had some goals. Like what? I wanted to graduate from college. Oh, that's a great goal. To accomplish that. Yeah, it's a great goal. <laughs> Something millions of people do every year. There's no right answer with it, Jeffrey. You're gonna find this really quickly. <laughs> all right, let's let's play a game. All right, so today we're gonna play a little trivia game. We've got three crazy long English words that are real. We're gonna have you guess what the definition is. It's multiple choice, so you get a few options. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey. How you doing? All right, so word number Hello. one. Pneumono ultra microscopic coniosis. What? All right, so it's either A, Bloop. an acute observation of the trachea, or B, Bloop. a mutation found in the portus ligament of the elbow, or C, Bloop. an obscure term ostensibly referring to a lung disease caused by silica dust. I'm, I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with B. I'm going to think it's a, a mutation uh, in the elbow. So you think pneumonal ultramicroscopic volcanic cardiosis is a mutation in the ligament of an elbow or yeah. something like that? That's a simple, yeah. Julian? I'm sorry, Chester. It was actually C. Oh, incorrect. You were mistaken. Your logic served you wrong. Okay, so the second word is Bloop. hippopotamonsterosis, squiptoliophobia. A, the fear of long words. Wouldn't that be tragic? It's A. You haven't even finished. Let the it's guy a. finish. I think it's A. Would you shut up, Chester? <laughs> you going to just let me finish? No, it's, I, I believe it's A. I, I believe it's he A. He believes it's A. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Way to go, I guess. <laughs> All right, so the third word is... Let me see that thing. Let me right. see it. I'll read it. Here. Oh, give me that thing. All right, here we go. The word is... Bloop. Honorific abilitudinitatibus. Honorific abilitudinitatibus. Is that right? Actually, no. Julie, I'm going to make you do it. I can't read this thing through these dumb glasses. Okay, take it back. So is it A, Bloops. the state of being able to achieve honors, Bloop. B, the state of dishonor preceding a public service, or C, the Bloop. embezzlement of government funds? Make your selection, Chester. C. All right, let's have it. Is Chester still an inland idiot, or is he moving to the beach? That is incorrect. <laughs> He's wrong! I knew it. Now you're happy. <laughs> That's the happiest you've been. Well, Chester, how does it feel to not really know that much about English, the language you speak natively? <laughs> you must feel pretty dumb. Wow, he's just tearing you a new one. Maybe. Instead of trying to be smart and act like you know something in the future, just opt out and just say, sorry, man, I'm an actor. I don't really know that much. You brought, you brought me sorry, here. Sorry, that's it. That's all. <laughs> that's breakfast. Bloop.